Hello everyone, welcome back to TechCloud channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about UDP datagram. As UDP is user datagram protocol and it is one of the protocol who work on transport layer. Unlike TCP, UDP is unreliable and connectionless protocol means there is no acknowledgement or confirmation over the data transfer. Since it is connectionless, it does not need to establish a connection between source and destination prior to the actual data transfer. Moving on, as unlike TCP, UDP also have a packet header which is attached in the packet with data. So UDP header itself an 8 bytes fixed and simple header which has just source port, destination port, length and checksum. So, in the UDP header, the source port is a 2 byte long field used to identify the port number of the source. Then destination port, it is also 2 bytes long field used to identify the port of the destination packet. Then the length, so length is the length of UDP including the header and the data and it is a 16 bits field. Then we have the checksum. Checksum is as 2 bytes long field and it is the 16 bits once complement of the once complement sum of the UDP header. The CIDO header of information from the IP header and the data padded with 0 octet at the end to make a multiple of 2 octets here. Moving on, here we have a Wireshark packet capture and same thing we can see like under UDP field, we have the source port, destination port, length and checksum. So in case if you have a Wireshark packet capture, you can find it the same UDP datagram information in the capture this way. Now let's move on and find out some of the benefit of UDP. So first this UDP is used for simple request response communication when the size of data is less and hence there is a laser concern about flow and error control. Then it is suitable protocol for multicasting as this UDP supports packet switching. UDP also used for some routing update protocol like RIP routing information protocol. Normally, it is used for real-time application and this cannot tolerate uneven delays between section of the received messages. UDP is widely used in online gaming where low latency and high speed communication is essential for a good gaming experience. Then UDP also used for streaming media applications such as IPTV, online radio and video conferencing. It uses UDP for the real-time audio and video communication of the data. There, this UDP also being used in VOIP, voice over internet protocol services such as Skype, WhatsApp. Then this UDP also being used by DNS and DSCP. In DNS, it uses UDP for the query and response messages and in DSCP, it uses to dynamically IP as assignment to the devices on a network. Some protocol for implementation uses UDP as a transport layer protocol like NTP, DNS, BootP, NNP, code of the day protocol, TFTP, RTSP and RIPs. RIP. The application layer can do something task like through the UDP is trace route, um, record route and then timestamp. The basic conclusion of how UDP works is that UDP takes a datagram from the network layer, attach its header and send it to the user. That's why this UDP is work far faster. So this is the most basic expo exposure about the UDP datagram. If you would like to know more in the detail about UDP 
और TCP और लाइक OSI, TCP IP layer, DNS, DHCP, TCP flags and more into how they works. What are the backend process behind these protocols? We have already uploaded the video and we will share the link in the description and you can also visit the channel page. So I hope this is helpful for you today. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts and suggestion. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.